Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a really big book outlet haul. This is a haul that I've been holding on to since last year, kind of-ish. Um, Boxing Day, they were book outlet as in they was having a 25% off sale. So I might have gone a little bit crazy. I think I got like 80 books um, for like 300 bucks. I know, that sounds ridiculous. So I'm just going to very quickly show you what I got so we are not here forever. So I will start off with the books that I have read and there are maybe five of those. Um, and I know that's really bad but these I've actually read these before I did, like before I checked out the order and they were just books that I knew I enjoyed. So the first one I got is Love is the Higher Law by David Levithan. This cover is really hard to see but it is kind of an 11 book. Um, I read it through the library but I think it tells three different perspectives and I think they're all teenagers and how they deal with 9-11 and their experience through it. So I think I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. But going along with my kind of David Levithan collection, I picked up Are We There Yet? And this is a book I gave 3 out of 5 stars. I think it is the only David Levithan book I have read that I've given 3 stars. Um, this is about two brothers that go on a little trip together to Italy. Italy and I don't know I think it just took me a really long time to get into but I also read it as an ebook so I don't know if that kind of made it harder for me to get into so I might reread it. And then this is only like a dollar I think but the 25% off I picked up Gone by Michael Grant. This is another one I read as an ebook and I have the third and the fourth or the fourth and the fifth book. Um, so this isn't a book that I necessarily enjoyed. I think it's another one I gave 3 out of 5 stars. But it just took me a really long time to get into, and I don't know if it's because it was an ebook or if it's because it's a pretty chunky book. But yeah, maybe I'll reread it and continue on with the rest of the series because I have heard really good things. Then I picked up The Espressologist by Christina Springer. I read this November or December of last year, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's very contemporary, and she kind of sets people up based on their coffee orders. So it was really cute and it's very short. You can read it in one sitting. Um, but it's a very wintry book. So I think I mentioned this in my winter favorites actually. I think that's where this came up. Then another little love book is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. I have such a hard time saying that by Jennifer E. Smith. Um, recently I bought This Is What Happy Looks Like and I pre-ordered The Geography of You and Me. So I loved this book. It's another one I read in one sitting because it's pretty short. And it is about, it's a relationship that takes place in like 24 hours and it's about two people that meet on a flight to England and it's just really cute. So I totally recommend this if you're into contemporaries. I bought a lot of romance books. I also bought Dash and Lily's Book of Stairs by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. This is one that I read February of last year, I think January, February of 2013 and I really enjoyed it. It was one of my favorites, 5 out of 5 stars, for sure. I don't think I talked about ratings for any of the other ones, but most of them were 5 or 3. Um, so, yeah, I sat on it for a couple dollars and in hardcover, so it was really hard for me to say no, especially when I'm kind of starting a David Levithan collection. So, yeah, I recommend this one too. Then we get into the massive collection of books that I have yet to read. Um, this one I bought because of Keisha, and I blame her solely for it, and that is Wasteland by Susan Kim and Lawrence Clavin. Um, I don't know what it's about, except that on the back it says, Population over age 19, zero, this is the Wasteland. So that sounds kind of interesting. A book that I've been wanting for a really long time and I was so excited to find is Crash and Burn by Michael Hassan. I've wanted this book since it came out, except it was $20 and very thick, so I could just never bring myself to buy it, and I saw it on there for a couple dollars, so I had to get it, and I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but that it's supposed to be really good, and I love that, so. Then, this is a book I haven't really heard of. Oh my god, there's no dot on it. I love when that happens. I bought The Raft by S.A. Bodine, and it's short. I feel like I've heard my friend Brad talk about this. From book YA review. Everybody that I mentioned will be linked down in the description as always. Um, so I think it's a thriller and I think she gets stuck on a raft. That's about all I know. Um, then I picked up My Sister Lives on the Mantelpiece by Annabelle Pitcher. I've heard about this author's book Ketchup Clouds and I really want to read that one. Um, but again Keisha and I think Geraldine were talking about this book once in a hangout and it sounded really interesting. Um, so, 
Yeah, it's short, and I think it's purple underneath. Yeah, it's purple, so I love that. I'm going to get yelled at for this one. Um, I picked up Elemental by Anthony John. I have a paperback copy of this, and it's signed, but it's an ARC, so for a couple dollars I saw the hardcover. So that way if I read it and I like it, I have a hardcover copy. This book is just so pretty, and it was a complete cover by. That is Entwined by Heather Dixon. I just, it's so, I love it so much, and it looks so nice on my shelf. And yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what this is about. Oh, I think it's a fairy tale. So maybe I'll save that for our fairy tale month for a readathon. Then I picked up Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by Kat Rosenfield. Um, again, I'm not sure what this is about. But I've heard a few people talking about it, so, and it's short. I think Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement was talking about this book. I think that's where I've heard about it. Except I don't think she liked it all that much. Hmm. I picked up The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. I had owned It's Kind of a Funny Story and I'd gotten a hundred pages into it. And I couldn't seem to enjoy it, so I ended up giving it to my friend. And, um, this one sounds like it'll be a lot better. I have no idea what it's about, and that is The Day I Killed James by Katherine Ryan Hyde. I just really like the cover for this one, and it was only like $1.50 or $2, but it's short. So, hopefully some short books will help me catch up on my reading challenge, because I'm always behind. Then I picked up The Skies Everywhere by Janie Nelson. This is a book I've been wanting for a really long time, and, um... I wanted to find it with this cover because everywhere I'd seen it had the other covers and I really like the paperback with like the little greenery on the side so yeah. I'm not entirely sure what this is about either. Then I picked up What Happens Next by Colleen Clayton. Um, I read the summary of this one and I kind of forget what it's about now but I loved the cover so it seems like, is it new adult because they're in college? It sounds really good. How can you talk about something you can't remember? That's what it says on the back. So, yeah, I think I think I want to read this one soon. Then I picked up Dear Bully, and this is 70 authors telling their stories. Um, so, some of the authors are Ellen Hopkins, Lauren Kate, Carolyn Mackler, Lisa McMahon, Alison Noel, Lauren Oliver, Carrie Ryan. Um, and Kirsten White and more. So it says a collection of personal stories from con from different contributors. So yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get to this, but I'd seen a few people adding it on Goodreads. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I just figured why not. This one was there's no dot on this one either. This one was recommended to me by one of you guys a while ago, and that is The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett. Um, I think this is about vampires, but I'm not sure, and I don't know, I just really liked the cover, and like I said, it was recommended to me, so I might as well give it a try. Then I picked up Trafficked by Kim Purcell when we were in Second and Charles back in September, I think Geraldine picked this up, and I was hesitant about it, because I don't know if I want to read about human trafficking, but at the same time... I kind of like reading about real world issues um, like drugs in jail but I think this will take it a step farther than I'm used to so I'm intrigued and hesitant at the same time so if you guys have read this let me know what you thought. This is another one I've been wanting and that is Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Um, I know this is about dragons and I think the only book I've read with dragons in it was Harry Potter so yeah. I don't know I own the Aragon series but I haven't read it yet. I own a lot of books that have dragons in it, I just haven't read any of them. And I think this is getting a sequel. I'm not sure. Then I picked up We Were Here by Matt de la Pena. Geraldine really likes this author and she met him back in C DC at the National Book Festival. So I'd never heard of him before then, but he's really cute, I'm not gonna lie. So when I saw this there, I figured why not, maybe I'll really like his books too. And yeah, I don't think this is YA, but I'm not 100% sure. Then I picked up The Beginning of After by Jennifer Castle. This has been on my wish list for a while, so I got really excited when I saw it. 
and I think it's a contemporary about some guy next door. I picked up The Ward by Jordana Frankel. Frankel? Again, no idea what it's about. Complete cover by. I'm not ashamed. Then these next three are probably in the wrong order, but they are the second, third, and fourth book in the Chronicles of Nyx series by Sherwin Kenyon. I think it's the second, third, and fourth. I just know the first one's not in here. So, my camera's gonna die. Then, so I'm just gonna fly through these. Then I picked up Crusher by Neil Leonard. Again, cover by. I Had Killers by Barry Liga. This is one that I've wanted for a long time and I actually have on Kindle. Born of Illusion by Terry Brown. Pulse by Patrick Carmen. Parallel by Lauren Miller. Again, Keisha's fault. How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. I bought this because I know there's a movie. Stop Pretending What Happened When My Big Sister Went Crazy by Sonia Stones because I love Sonia Stones books and this was the only one I did not have. And then finally, How They Met and Other Stories by David Levithan because I have not read this one and I wanted to add it to my collection. So yeah, that was my ridiculous book outlet haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you've read or want to read any of these books, let me know down in the comments like what you thought of them and stuff. Or if you have a book outlet problem, let me know which ones you've been buying because no, I shouldn't buy anymore. I have a problem. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.